Hello everyone and welcome to the Modern Day Gamer. In today's video I'm going to be going over uh, one of my favorite uh, shows, characters, action figures. Uh, I've had this for a while, I've been meaning to make a video, I just have not got around to it. And here he is, this is Rick from the show Rick and Morty, which is um, like super popular right now. And I thoroughly enjoy this show. I have not, not caught up with it all the way. I still have some season three episodes to watch, um, but I've seen most of the episodes and most of season three. <clears throat> anyway, I have this to show you and then one other thing that I've already opened and put together um, that I'm excited about. Let's get this rig open and see. Really opening these. I didn't want to rip it like that, but for the sake of time, it totally come out. Okay, so he is out of the package now. Feels pretty good. Um, this is like a rubber right here, um, which is really nice. This rest of him is plastic, his pants are plastic, his shoes, they, it has a rubbery feel. Um, he's got articulation in the knee here, and the leg can go out, both sides, front, there's back, which is in, kind of hindered by the coat. Uh, no foot articulation, as I can tell. Um, it looks like you can swivel a, around, but he's not going to have a one of those joints we see on the Black Series figures where you can move his foot all over the place. He's got elbow articulation, his hands can circle around, and he can go 360 up pretty high, uh, about 90 degrees on that elbow. Um, so his decent articulation, this elbow looks like it's stuck a little bit. It looks like his elbows aren't going to go fully straight here without um, causing some damage to the plastic. His head can swivel all the way around. He's got a little bit of a look up, a little look down. Uh, he can go left to right, all that kind of good stuff. And he comes with a piece to, I believe this is Snowball's mechanized machine, um, where Snowball so with Snowball, he puts together a machine. This is his arm, and it comes with a portal gun, uh, which I believe you can put this in his hand here. Um, um, it doesn't want to hold very well. Let's try the other hand. Let's see if it's if it's a left-handed thing. Holds a little bit better in the left hand. Not very, not very well, well enough, well enough, um, again the husky from yesterday is barking at a cat, so hold on. And um, overall, uh, this figure is cool, I love Rick and Morty, um, the portal gun doesn't sit in his hand very well at all, it, either hand really kind of just falls out, you can see, it looks like he was meant to hold it in either hand but they just didn't sculpt the hands tight enough around the portal gun and uh, you know Rick isn't going to hold the portal gun so wonky, the portal gun has, it's just one piece of plastic that has been painted and sculpted. It has different paint apps, of course, on the little, uh, whatever this little green energy is, the button, and then the little shooters. I don't know if you can see that very well. Um, this looks like it's also sculpted from two pieces, maybe three pieces, uh, 
with simple paint apps and sculpting. No, no movement, no articulation on that. It's just, I assume with this peg, it'll move and articulate like a normal arm um, once you get snowball collected. Um, and then we have the Rick, and Rick figure. Uh, Rick is most people's favorite character on the show. Uh, he doesn't sit down like that very well because of his coat. Um, he probably would sit in some form of chair decently, um, maybe. You can't really get him into a lot of poses. Overall, I like the figure. I think it is a nice figure. I think it is a solid figure. Uh, Rick and Morty's not really known for their action figure line anyway, and that's okay. Um, it's just something that I like to collect. The paint apps are really good. Um, he's a pretty simple character. Uh, I'm glad they went with the, the rubbery kind of plastic in here. It's, it's like a soft plastic as opposed to um, a like a, a hard plastic or a cloth. So that's a really good figure. We're going to have the TIE Fighter. It is the, um, the first order TIE Fighter. It's a Hot Wheel Starship toy and it is uh, just kind of it's really simple very unique uh, it comes with this stand which you have to put together um, that I had no trouble putting it together you just pop it in there and then there is a little hole where you can pop in the starship whichever way you want it to face I like to have it facing this way Starship itself has pretty good sculpting and design. This middle piece here that you can see from about not this little piece that comes off, but the whole the whole circle piece from here to here is all metal and the wings are plastic. It has a metal screw in the back that you can see, um, which it's not gonna matter. Um, too much. This is a pretty small figure. You have to get kind of get close to see it. It just kind of clips into this stand. It is a unique um, little collectible item if you're into the Star Wars starships like I am. I love the TIE Fighter. Uh, I would love to collect all of them, which there is. Uh, there's more. There's a lot more. Um, I want to get the normal TIE Fighter just because I like its uh, paint better um, but the detail on this sculpt being that it is metal um, which it's metal with a kind of plastic a thin plastic layer and then a paint coat over it um, and then of course this is plastic this is plastic um, most of it is plastic it's a good little figure if you are looking to get something kind of nice and simple it was really cheap it was like three dollars for just this little figure you can collect them all pretty easily if you're into collecting things um, as opposed to this Rick figure which stands at about probably five inches um, which cost $20 um, and this one cost three so um, price points are different just depends on which what you like better, Rick and Morty or Star Wars. Most people will pick Star Wars um, for the most part. Um, Star Wars ships are really iconic, so collecting these could maybe come in handy, especially if not a lot of people are trying to collect them right now. So just keep that in mind um, <clears throat> that if you see one of these, there was only one TIE Fighter left. Pick it up. If you see two, leave one for the next collector of these. Um, I may start collecting these, but right now I'm working on Black Series figures. Um, I've only got two, so I'm a little behind. But thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead, go ahead and give it a like. If you want to see more, then um, tell me in the comments below. If you are new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. And thank you guys for watching.